let's let's zoom in to our three image mosaic of the 400 meter per pixel imaging that we've taken. Uh, and here you can see there's the provinces of the two mile high mountains, uh, which we are now calling uh, Norgue Montes, uh, which are located in the lower left. There is extensive large scale pitting, uh, you can see in the lower right. And then there is this extremely young plains, um, which makes up the northern half of the, or upper half of the image. And uh, by the way, this image is oriented so north as uh, being a geologist, so I kind of like that. Makes life easy. Um, and this is just a, a taste of I'm, what I'm sure is in the unsent data. So may I have the next slide, please? And so you see here's the names uh, that we've uh, assigned to them. As uh, Alan mentioned before, we decided to um, name Sputnik Plenum after the first artificial satellite uh, launched into space and thus beginning the, the space age. Uh, and Norgi Montes, of course, is after the Nepalese Sherpa who went up the uh, Mount Everest with Edmund Hillary and is the first Nepalese to have a name on any planet in the solar system. Okay, let's have the next time step, please. Okay, let's look at this little region here in the middle of Sputnik uh, Planum. May I have the next time step, please? Okay, when I saw this image the first time, I decided I was gonna call it not easy to explain terrain. <laughs> So this is the frozen plains of Pluto. You know, so uh, when you look at this plains, you can clearly see that we've discovered a vast craterless plains that has some strange story to tell. Uh, for convenience, as I said, you know, we've uh, uh, tried to think about um, it in various types of geological um, uh, metaphors, which I'll get to in a moment. But judging from the uh, absence of impact uh, craters, it's clear that Sputnik Planum you know, couldn't possibly be more than, you know, let's pick a round number, 100 million years old, and possibly still being shaped to this day by geological processes. So this could be, you know, only a week old for all we know. 